Hello, this is the Tachibana Corporation coming at you with another tutorial video. And today we will be showing you guys how to factory reset your Windows PC. Now while we will be doing this on a Dell Optiplex 960, this can be done with any computer. We really are using this computer to show that this works with any Windows 10 computer regardless of age. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So first, you're going to have to go to your start menu, you're going to go to settings. And then you will go down to update and security. And then on the sidebar here, you will see recovery. And then you'll see reset this PC right next to advanced startup. Advanced startup is what you would do if you were going to do recovery in place. Here we are going to do a clean installation. And then you see here where it says keep my files or remove everything. When you do keep my files, it removes all the apps and settings, basically reinstalling Windows, but keeps all your personal files in place. And then this option of remove everything does a nice clean sweep, which is what you would normally do to factory reset it and allow you to pass the PC on to someone else. So we're going to go ahead and do remove everything. So you can see here, it wants you to kind of confirm current settings, remove apps and files, do not clean the drive. Change settings right here. You can say right here, you can just remove your files. This is quicker, but less secure. You can go ahead and change this to yes. It will take a while, but it will securely remove all your files. Since we've done it quite a few times on this particular hard drive, we're going to go ahead and say new. We do recommend that if you are selling it to someone and getting rid of it permanently, that you go ahead and turn that to yes. So we're going to go ahead and click next. Once again, this is another confirmation, letting you know exactly what's going to happen to the computer. And then we'll go ahead and hit reset. It's very nice that they ask you to confirm a couple times. That way you can click cancel at any point in the process. All right, it's finally done resetting. That took quite a bit longer than I was expecting, truth be told, but after this point, it should be the basic setup. So I guess it was the installation that started next, not the setup. I always recommend starting these processes and then going to get lunch or something. It's usually done by the time you get back. All right, that was the third time rebooting. It does say your PC will restart several times. All right, it looks like we're finally getting to the just a moment part. Okay, so this is the factory reset screen, which is the screen you would get if you bought any computer brand new and plugged it in and turned it on. This is the screen you should leave it at if you are hoping to sell it to somebody. If you are hoping to pass it off, this is also a very good suggestion to leave it right here and they can follow the setups. Pretty easy steps. And they will have a factory reset computer. This took about 30 minutes. 
all together. It will take a couple hours if you decide to do the securely delete and wipe files. Alright, I do believe that is the end of our tutorial on how to factory reset a Windows computer. Let us know down in the comments which we would like to do a tutorial over next, and we will go ahead and catch you guys next time.